The Pixel 9 Pro Fold's inner screen is almost a square, and because of that, some applications work really well, some applications work less well. And when we kind of throw into this equation tablet layouts, applications that will show a dual panel layout, sometimes this works great, sometimes it works less great. In this video, we're going to talk about the YouTube application, how it looks right now, and how you can actually very easily, at least for right now, change that layout back to the phone layout simply stretched out across the screen, because that is something that a lot of people have complained about. This might be a big improvement for you. So let's take a look at what it looks like now, and then we'll go from there. I do quickly want to give a shout out to Romero Football in the Pixel Fold subreddit for pointing this out, it kind of explaining that this was actually happening, and also a shout out to Vegetable Wolf for a link we're gonna look at later that should make this really easy for everybody to do. I'll put a link to this uh, post in the description. You can go there and you can give it an upvote for some reason. It only has two at this point, and I think you should have more because this is pretty useful. So currently, this is what the YouTube application looks like. This view I think is quite good. There's a lot of content on the screen. If I go into my subscriptions, you can see you have the bar on the left, content on the right. And then if I click on a video, this is the view that you get there. There's a very teeny tiny skinny bar to the right. And then you have your description. If you click on more actually pops up on that side as well, which is really small. The transcript is also really small there. Your chapters will appear there. Very, very small. If you swipe up, you can go full screen, swipe up again and you can come back. Now there are aspects of this that are really actually quite good. I like how dense this main screen is, but again, when you're looking at this screen, that right bar is just far too narrow. If we rotate this thing, some of this will get cut off a little bit, but it's it's really not much better. Like maybe it's slightly better, but it's really very much the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the link in the description and we're going to join the beta program for YouTube. Now you can also do this through the Play Store, but often it will say that it's full. If you use this link, you'll get through regardless. Once that has been done, you can go to your Play Store and you can update the YouTube application to the beta version. Now it's unclear if this change you're about to see is permanent or if it is simply a part of the beta that they're testing and maybe it's just something that's broken. I have no idea what is going to happen long term, but now when we open up YouTube, we will see some changes. So first off, things are not nearly as dense. Everything is basically the phone app, but bigger. If we click on a video, what you will see is the phone app, but bigger. The video is taking up the full width of the screen. If you click on more, you're just going to see stuff down below. This is basically what it looks like on the OnePlus Open or the Z Fold 6, Z Fold series of devices. This is a give and take. I actually do think that that floating window being larger is good. I would like it to be larger, but I would like to see this screen have more content on it. But... I also do like the fact that whenever I look at the description, it's just there and it's relatively large. I like that the video is taking up the full width while I'm still able to see the title and the comments and suggested videos. I don't have to full screen it to get the full size of the video. So again, it's a give and take type situation. But I do think that for me, this is one of the rare instances where the tablet interface does not work well on this device and it's probably smart for them to take that away. Now, some of you may remember that a couple of weeks back, I made a video talking about the fact that a couple of apps had been updated in the Play Store, not the beta channel, just the regular app channel. They've been updated and they had removed, like YouTube's beta version, they had removed the tablet layout. If we go into YouTube music here and I select a song, you can see that I'm not getting the dual panel layout that I do get if I rotate. Prior to that update, you got the dual panel layout no matter what. Now that is gone and they've updated it since then and they've not brought it back, which makes me think that maybe this is just what they're doing. To me, this is unfortunate because I do think this is an app that actually benefited from having that dual panel layout all the time. The phone application, or as I like to call it, my spam receiver, big shout out and thanks to call screening because I didn't see a single one of these. It also used to be dual panel. Now it is just the phone app stretched out. Unless, of course, you rotate. 
So again, this is one of those things where I don't think that there's one perfect rule for everything. I want the tablet layout all the time in YouTube Music, but maybe in the YouTube normal app, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want to just use the phone layout. I would love if Google would simply give us the option, much like we can change the option for aspect ratio per app. Man, give us the ability to pick what layout we want per app. That would be absolutely amazing. But for right now, it does seem like Google doesn't exactly know what they want to do. They started with everything being the tablet layout minus Gmail, which has never had the tablet layout, which is strange on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is what I mean. And now it seems like they're slowly pushing their way towards the Samsung method of just having apps that are the phone app stretched out across the larger screen unless you rotate it. And I guess in that regard, you do have the option to choose. It's just that I don't want to rotate my phone. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Maybe you think this is absolutely the way that they should be going. And if that's how you feel, you should probably feel good because it does seem like that's what's happening. But I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What layout do you prefer? Are there apps that you're like, no, please don't make me rotate it to get to that layout like how I feel? Because look, a lot of the time I have YouTube music loaded up in my car, in a car dock, and I like seeing both things, and I don't have to rotate it in my car dock to see both panes. So again, give me the manual choice. I want dual panel in the portrait layout. Are there apps that you feel that way about as well? Let me know in those comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>